To thread our machine, we first start by winding a bobbin. You can get your bobbin from the bobbin case, which is located next to your presser foot. To the right of the case, there is a black button that you can push to the right. Now we can lift up our lid and take out our bobbin. This bobbin is a class 15 transparent bobbin. Your machine was designed to use this bobbin. So if you need to go buy more, make sure it is a class 15 transparent bobbin. Now let's take our spool of thread and we'll go to the top of our machine where we can access our spool pin. We'll slide our thread on there and then we'll put on our spool cap and lay it down. Now you'll notice at the top of your machine, you have some diagrams. You have a series of gray diagrams for threading your needle and then you have a series of blue diagrams on how to wind your bobbin. So we're gonna follow along with the blue drawings. Step one tells us to go through our first thread guide. So we'll take our thread and just slip it right into that thread guide. Next, it tells us to go in front of our bobbin winding tension disc. So we're gonna go through the, this side and then wrap it around. And you should feel a little bit of a tug because there should be some tension in there. Now we're gonna go to step two and three. We'll take our bobbin and there are holes on both sides of the bobbin. From the center, you'll take your thread and run it straight up through one of those holes to the top of your bobbin. Now we'll place our bobbin on top of our bobbin winding spool. And you'll want to make sure it's snapped all the way down and keep holding the end of your thread. Now we're gonna push our bobbin to the right. Now we can step on our foot control and go around for just a moment. At this point, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna trim down close to the bobbin so our thread isn't sticking up on top. And now we can finish winding the bobbin. And you can do this for as long as you need to, depending upon your project. But if you wanna have a full bobbin, you can continue to wind it and it will automatically stop when it's full. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and stop. And now we'll push, we'll undo what we just did by pushing our bobbin to the left. We'll take our bobbin off of our spindle here, and now we can just trim the bobbin thread from our spool of thread. So we're gonna take our bobbin down to our bobbin case, and to put our bobbin in properly, we need to make sure that our thread is going to the left or counterclockwise off our bobbin. Another way to tell if you're doing it right is to look at it and make sure that the bobbin and the thread is making the letter P. So now we're gonna lay our bobbin in our bobbin case. And then using the arrows on your machine, we're just gonna follow those arrows with our thread. So we're gonna go down and around, and then up, and down. And then when we go slightly to the right, there's a cutter in there that will cut the thread for us automatically. And the final step is to put our case back on. Now we're gonna thread the top of our machine. There are two things we need to make sure that we do first before we thread our needle. We need to make sure that our presser foot and our presser foot lifter is in the up position. Also, we need to make sure that we can see our take-up lever. If you don't see it and it looks something like this, then turn the hand wheel towards you until you can see it. And now we can take our spool of thread and put it on our spool pin and cover with our spool cap. Using our gray set of diagrams, we're just gonna follow the instructions. So our first step is to take our thread through the first metal thread guide. Now from the back of the machine and then forward, we're gonna go through our second metal thread guide. We're just following the arrows now down the groove and following the arrows. And then at four, we're gonna make a U-turn and go back up 
And then at this point, we wanna take our thread to the right of our take-up lever. And then we're gonna follow the diagram and go all the way up and around, and then down to the left of our take-up lever. And when you pull on your thread, you'll see that it needs to go into the eye of your take-up lever right at the end. If you don't get that through that eye, your sewing machine will not sew. Now that we've threaded our thread through the eye of our take-up lever, we're gonna follow down to the number six through this groove. At this point, there's a small metal hook that we just need to put our thread behind. And using our diagram to the left, we need to put our thread behind one more hook, which is right above your needle. And to use your automatic needle threader, we first need to make sure that our needle is in its highest position. And to do that, you wanna turn your hand wheel toward yourself. And now our needle is in its highest position. So using the lever to the side, we're gonna push this all the way down until it turns toward your needle. And now we'll take our thread and we're gonna wrap this under this metal hook to the left and then around. Then we're gonna take our thread and go through and to the back. And then when we let go, our automatic needle threader produces a small loop behind our needle. So now we can just slightly pull on that and our machine is threaded.